it's early. Um, you know, there's uh, you can see that there was some work done in, in the summers, um, obviously with NCAA restrictions, how much we're limited with them. Um, as coaches, there, there's been some work that they each have done, and that's that's obvious. They're they're further along than than what they were in the spring and. And obviously, Gunner being new, he's done a lot of work himself too. So I think the preparation from an individual standpoint and them being able to do what they can do um, with us and then them working on their own, I think we've seen some strides. With both uh, Justin first and then, and then Gunner, can you say what what the biggest growth has been and also what the biggest thing they need to work on is? Really really hard to tell like after practice three like where's the biggest growth been. I think it's it's been not just one particular area. I think we're all as quarterbacks with time, the whole group, a little bit more aware of timing with the receivers because you get more reps with them and, and with that you know, practice time, you get more familiar because it's real specific. Quarterbacks and receivers, they're, they're all a little bit different. So you got to try to feel each other out. And I think with more reps at it, the, the summer reps that they did on their own um, into the fall camp, and it's only been practice three, so it's hard to see those strides. But I think from an intellectual standpoint, I think we understand our schemes more, protections, progressions, these defensive identification, all the things, the adjustments we have to make. Um, you know, there's there's so much to it, and and uh, we have to cover it all. And and then once you cover it all, you have to go back and start again and break it down even more, and and, and keep repping it. It's all a matter of uh, repetition, and, and and with that becomes time. Like the word that we kept hearing from Coach Day was that nobody had earned that that spot at quarterback yet, and obviously it's early. But what will it take to do that? What does it take to earn a starting quarterback job here? Well, I think there's a, uh, a standard of quarterback play around here for uh, a long time. Um, that, that's been um, what we need, the Buckeye standard at quarterback. And when we see that, um, you know, we'll move forward. Is there a, a number that you refer? Is it a light that just goes on in your head that feels right? What? A number meaning I mean, is there a stat that you'd look at or a feel in your in your stomach that you got the right guy? Well, it'd be wins, but unfortunately, <laughs> you don't you don't play anybody in the in the preseason. You know that's the ultimate stat, and that's the only stat that matters. Um, but I, I think um, you know after we get into it for a couple weeks and we're able to put some live scrimmages together and uh, you know try to simulate the game as much as possible, we'll have a better feel for for what that timeline is and who that's going to be. Mike, this is the first fall camp here for Justin Fields and. Um, Gunner Hope, how, how can you tell it's not their first fall camp as quarterbacks in college? Um, they, they don't they don't blink as much. You know, when it's new to them, you, can, you see a little bit more pause and more hesitation. Um, things come natural. They understand, um, even though it might not be what they called it in the past. They get the concept. Here you go. Yeah, I appreciate it. Sorry <laughs> about that. Must have been must have been a fullback. Hey, <laughs> 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 baby. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, I, I think just um, there's there's less hesitation than with a, a four-year kid coming in from high school. Because he's been here a little bit longer, like how has like Justin like improved in some of the intangibles as a quarterback, like the off the field, like leading. Um, I think his leadership has improved. It, and, and when you get more familiar and you build relationships and you work hard, and there becomes trust. And then, you know, when people trust you and they know you're working hard and you trust them, that becomes that, that bond and you get to know people. And I think we'll, they're working on that and I think that's growing. And it's great to see him be more vocal and, and be more natural in the leadership position. I know it's only been three days, but I guess from the first day of spring camp to the first day of fall camp, where do you think he's improved the most? Um, I would say anticipating throws and knowing where people are gonna be you know, uh, understanding our schemes and, and our system as a whole. How naturally does that come to, to Justin Blake? Like, like, we saw that he threw a pretty nice deep ball to Ben in the spring game, and it's clear, clear he has a lot of arm strength, but the anticipation you talk about, seeing a guy where he is and, and knowing where he's going to be and where the ball has to go, is that something that comes to him naturally? Do you have to work with him a lot on that? Um, I, I think there's uh, certain guys that, that um, get timing and, and know what that timing feels like. And every route's a little bit different. Every system's a little bit different. Every receiver quarterback um, is a little bit different. Um, getting to know one another, like I like I mentioned earlier. So I think it's something that you work on constantly. And the more you work at it, the better you're going to get at it. I I'm it. sure. I'm sure that they're that you're focused more on. Okay, how do I get these guys better? How do I get Justin better? And not you know, constructive criticism. But have there been times when it's been wow? 
this guy is really talented or whatever he's been. Well, I, we're trying to stay in the process as much as possible. And, and with that, you don't want to ride emotions high or get too low. You just take it as it comes to you and, and, and you coach up what you have to coach up and try to make them better um, every practice. We want to put, you know, practice two was good. Um, practice three today, I think, without watching film was good. Can we get three in a row good, right? Can we put four? Are we going to be two practices good, one bad? One good, one bad, two good, one bad. I mean, we'd like to see a string five or six consistency, real good practices, and then maybe a lull, and then you know, string that along and continue to improve and continue to be consistently good and, and continue to learn, continue to drive and have that hunger every day to come in here and learn something and get something from the meetings and not go through the motion in fall camp because it is tiring, it is hard, and you have to really push yourself. You have to be mentally tough, and you have to understand that there is so much more football for us to learn and for us to uh, – you know, get better at, at everything from run game, defensive ide uh, identification and protections, and it's just the list goes on and on and on. And, there, you know, you look at guys like Tom Brady who's been in the league for 20 years or over 20 years, and, and he's still uh, attacking meetings and, and going after stuff like there's something more for him to learn. So we have to <laughs> come in here and, and surely expect the most out of ourselves and, and demand a lot of ourselves. Does it make Two it more any questions, more, folks. Does it make it any more difficult to implement a scheme when you don't know who the starter is? No, we're going to implement uh, the Buckeye offensive system regardless. And we're, we know what works, and we know the adjustments, and we're going to install our system. Right, but you want to design it around the strengths of the guy, right? Surely. That's part, yeah. So. yeah, that's what you do. Else? Mike, how much Last of question. that Buckeye offensive system, how much more maybe does Justin know now? <coughs> I know there are limitations in the summer, but how much more familiar, comfortable do you see him being than he was in April? I, th I think the uh, – the biggest word I could just probably say, I don't know a percentage, but it's significant. Coach, thank, thank you, you guys. Thank you, Coach. Thanks. Thanks. Good job, buddy.